Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios, as promised. This is the uh, bonus reading for you all. I wanted to not only tap in and see what's coming in on the light and love side, but I also want to see what's coming in on the shadow side of things. As we all know, tomorrow is 10-4, and that means that there is some... You know, there's some uh, testings, emergency testing and signals are going to be transmitted. So I definitely want to just see what type of energy, what we have to, uh, you know, what we have to expect coming in. So this is going to uh, see what's hidden. More importantly, uh, behind the scenes, behind the veil, beloveds. I will. You all are blissed. I'm not going to do too much speaking uh, because I want to let the cards speak for themselves. Uh, I welcome any of you that may be new thank you so much for tuning and tapping in i go by the name of q i channel messages intuitively i am an empath and i'm also clear audience so the way that things work on my side of the planet is that i listen to music and the name of the song name of the artist name of you know perhaps lyrics within the song it will all correlate to what i may be channeling intuitively and it all blends beautifully with what the cards show um, so my spiel here is eat the fish beloveds and spit out the bones, meaning do not try to force anything to be your story. Uh, check your natal charts if you have to, to see your other placements. Uh, my readings are also timeless. So whenever this video was popped up in your feed, that was divine timing and in divine order beloveds that you've done. So to all my beloveds that return, you already know what it is. Love is love is love thank you all so much for showing love thank you all so much for just being here for showing out for commenting and just always being positive i love the posi vibes that's just that's the time i'm on and you all are on the same time and i appreciate it so thank you so much um so without further ado we're going to do some house cleaning and then we shall proceed with the reads beloveds so let's go ahead and dive in as I said, I will you all a bliss. I will everyone is grounded, balanced, and in alignment. Definitely get out of nature. Turn everything off tomorrow. Do not allow yourselves to be sucked into, um, you know, that negative frequency. It is currently 444 on the clock. Um, I wish I could show you, but um, I don't have my uh, phone. And the iPad is actually a couple of minutes off. It's saying 453. Uh, but it's actually 444 on the clock. Zariah, Zariah, yeah. can I see your phone real quick? Hurry. I just want to show you because I'm, I'm the type of reader that likes to show and prove. Um, and so it is 444 on the clock. And I want to show y'all. There we go. Because my clock is actually off on the iPad. Dang. I don't even know if you can see it. Can you see it? There we go. It's on, yeah. Uh, can y'all see that? Okay, I hope you can see that. 444. Four, four. I'm very anal. See, that's that's the thing that separates me. I like to show people what I'm saying. I didn't mean to throw your phone like I'm sorry. But even on this clock now, it's it's saying 454, which is still 4. So 4 is a very powerful number as well. Um, four represents stability. Four deals with the heart chakra. Four also deals with that masculine energy, the emperor. Um, so you could be, you know, definitely dealing with a masculine energy or there could be some, you know, perhaps maybe a boss, maybe someone uh, in, you know, an authoritative uh, position that you could be dealing with. Um, I do feel like spirit is saying, trust your heart uh, in matters as well, but your angels are around you. They're definitely uh, going to give you angles. So your angels are giving you angles is what I'm hearing. So without further ado, we're going to dive right in. I've already said the prayer before the reading, so I'm not going to even do that part. I always speak positively, love and light. Um, but you know what spirit is saying? Nah, mm -mm, do that. So I'm going to do that. Hold on one moment. And look what's on the bottom of the deck. I just want to show you that it's a four. And remember, we started the reading at four, four, four. And then we have a four. Even when I showed you, uh, you know, my iPad, which is a couple of minutes uh, ahead of time, it was also reducing to four. So fours and it was just four, four, four on the clock, the time step. So spirit is in the building right now. Ashe. Thank you, spirit. But let's go ahead and do some house cleaning. Ashe. Ah, 
I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, Mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe. Asheo. So we have a D train and this is called You're the One for Me. And we have this uh, 22 on the bottom of the deck, which reduces to four. So you, some of you all may have, like I was picking up a divine masculine that could be coming in, confessing this, expressing this, that the divine masculine, the emperor can be someone who uh, could be very, like I said, authoritative. They could be very, um, passionate about how they feel uh they could even be controlling um in some aspects but with you're the one for me especially with the d train uh perhaps there's distance between you and this person i'm also seeing the four pentacles where you could be kind of holding back from someone and someone could be holding on to you holding on to a connection spirit is saying trust your intuition your intuition will let you know what you need to do uh this is a message that came out in the light reading that i did prior to this reading so i definitely feel like trust Trusting your intuition is all, you know, going to lead to a positive outcome. When you go against that, you know, people often say, dang, I should have went with my first instinct. Dang, you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda. You know, that's when you start singing that tune. So definitely first thing out the gate, spirit saying, trust your intuition. And this is in regards to matters of the heart. I definitely feel like you are aligning with someone that could be um, equally in tune, you know, because that too deals with, you know, the high priest, the high priestess energy. So this could be someone who also has, you know, very strong intuition, someone who also uh, could have divine knowledge, divine wisdom. And, you know, everybody that has that that uh, access to that outformation, information to that wisdom doesn't necessarily use it for good. So someone could be using their authority, um, abusing it, excuse me, their authority. Uh, and spirit is saying that you need to trust your intuition because that authoritarian, um, you know, if they're not in the right frequency, if they're not harmonized, if they're not in the equilibrium, um, they can abuse their power, so to speak. They can be very abusive to the people that they are leading. You know, that that's where you have, uh, you know, those bosses that are very toxic. So I feel if you are dealing with a situation that is impertinence to work, um, or it's dealing with your career in any way, shape, form, or fashion, even if this is dealing with a family, uh, dynamic, um, definitely trust your intuition, trust what you feel in your gumption. I mean, in your gut, uh, what we have playing is D train. Perhaps I do feel, um, there can be some emotional distance as well because the four also, like I said, deals with the heart chakra. And so spirit is also telling you, trust your emotional, um, compass as well. Use emotional intelligence as well. And perhaps remove yourself from this situation, create distance, create boundaries. Uh, because someone could just be telling you that you're the one for them. Uh, and they can be trying to, trying to either convince you, um, that you should be with them or trying to control you or trying to make you feel guilty. Or I just don't feel, I feel like it's not healthy. I feel like it's overbearing to some degree. And we have 44 and look at all these fours. So we started the reading with 444. Four, four, and then when I showed you my daughter's phone, um, you could see clearly it was 444 four, four, and the time on my iPad is off. It was showing 440, uh, 459, which also reduced to four. And then when we were uh, showing the cards, it was 44. Um, I mean, it was 422. And then when we looked at the clock, it said 444. Four, four. So fours are following you. And I feel like that's angels. Like I said, the angels are giving you angles and they're telling you, trust your intuition, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. This four deals with the heart chakra. It's green in color. You can see that. And this is saying that you will persevere. 
you know, uh, past perhaps this authoritative figure, or this is just showing how strong, how confident, how passionate that you have uh, been to get to this place where, you know, you are stronger. 44 deals, uh, I mean, four and four breaks down to eight, and that is the card of strength. So I do feel like spirit is seeing my nose is itching like crazy. So spirit is definitely telling me I'm on the nose. So this is definitely saying that you have become stronger. So you may have someone very jealous because of your strength. Um, whether it's emotional, spiritual, even psychological, like you're, you're wiser now, you're not going to fall for the okie doke. You're not, you're not going to fall into the same traps you may have dug yourselves out of. We have, um, ramp playing come into knowledge. And I just want to show you that. Cause I was just talking about how wise you are now. And someone could be very uh, jealous of the fact that you're doing, um, so well, or that you're making the right decisions or that you've persevered through some, some, uh, circumstances, but this is showing also, like I said, like perhaps there's some movement, there's some, uh, some action you're taking. Um, and you're also like confronting your fears. You're facing your fears. Uh, you're not backing down. You're being bold. You're standing up for what you believe in. The eight also could be someone stressing over you, stressing over your decisions, stressing over, you know, uh, the fact that you have evolved. Uh, this could be a karmic. I'm getting a toxic karmic. I'm getting someone that you have left behind because that eight deals with the karma. Um, we got nine, nine compassion. So even if you are dealing with a karmic, I think spirit is saying, um, smile and forgive them all show forgiveness because it's for you. It's not about being, you know, it's not just about being the bigger person because you are the bigger person when you take the appropriate steps, uh, to heal and to grow. Uh, but this is really about being and asserting yourself as your authentic self, you know, um, having a forgiving heart is definitely, it shows that there has been some healing and some growth on your part. So I do feel like that's why spirit is saying show compassion. And with the spirituality, this is them also saying that when you show that, then you will align with your soul tribe. You will align with your soul family. You will align with people that are like minded. So this is saying you are godly, you know, so absolutely you could be a master teacher. You could be, you know, someone who has healed themselves. And now whatever lessons you've learned through that healing process, you are now being being, you know, almost, um, initiated and, and prepped to help others heal, to help others in, you know, whatever journey they may be taking. So that's what the compassion is all about. The forgiveness is always for you because it does free you from having and carrying a lot of emotional bank, you know, baggage, you know, you're not anchored emotionally to someone. Um, there's no animosity and resentment and jealousy and hatred and, you know, all of those things that weigh you down emotionally. It's like you, when you show this, that means that you are ready for that. And that 14 breaks down to five, which means that you are absolutely someone who has been, uh, you know, going, growing through some sort of, uh, journey, but also who has been, um, being initiated or going through a rites of passage to become a healer, to be a shaman, to be a light worker, to be a master teacher, you know, as I said in a former reason, reading, like you all are chosen, you are the chosen one. So that is with that um, responsibility, there is going to be a lot of people that have hatred, that have disdain, that have visceral, because it's like your light, your, your beauty, your kindness, your love, your righteousness, it irritates the demons that are within them. The, the demons, the demonic forces, that was those spiritual, uh, warfare that takes place. It always tries to attack uh, individuals that are, uh, on the right path to discourage you, you know? So it's like, this is why spirit is like, always show this because this is going to prepare you for your journey. That five is definitely like with the hierophant, it's like, this is you learning. That's been your journey for the past couple of years, uh, is you've been learning, you've been growing, you've been evolving, you've been ascending, you've been tapping into your divine God frequency, Christ consciousness. You have been learning who you are. You've been evolving and morphing into your, uh, you know, authentic self, if you will. So this is definitely showing you're spiritually stronger and you're aligning with other like minds or aligning with your soul tribe, as I said. So that is what's causing someone stress, anxiety, because we have this 71 health here. So someone is definitely stressing over you, stressing over what you're doing. Someone is definitely just stressed out because they can no longer control you. We have, um, who is this? 
this is surface and it says closer than just friends so i definitely feel like you also could be coming into alignment because whenever i see double numbers and we have two of them here this is showing as i said not that that you're coming into alignment with your soul tribe soul family this could be a soul mate as well so you're going to be coming into uh some very powerful partnerships connections building some very powerful um alliances with individuals that you will build and cultivate and nurture uh strong um relationships with and someone is definitely going to be a little jelly behind that that's stressing someone out uh because they're seeing you finally um you know finally kind of freeing yourself from them as I said, you know, and with surface, I feel like there's definitely something that will come to surface, even if it's in relation to someone who may be a friend right now, they may confess or express that they have deeper feelings for you. So those feelings they could have been suppressing and, and ignoring and denying and refuting, it's going to come to surface. It's all going to come to surface. And someone that's minding your business, watching someone that could be a, a eye spy is absolutely uh, going to take offense to you moving on. Uh, but let's tap in. Let's see. So it looks like all of your cards have been chosen. So the first card you have is 88, another double number. So you had 9977. Now you have 88. That's synchronicity. Some of you all could be seeing 999 uh, Um, So this is synchronicity straight out the gate. So whatever you're attracting, because this is about uh, what's in your environment, we're attracting what's in, I mean, we're pulling the card for what's in your environment. Um, so whatever's in your environment, this is going to bring um, emotional fulfillment. I feel this is also coming in quickly because we have 8-8. Eight, eight. So that 8-8 eight, eight breaks down to 16, which is 7. So that 7 deals with the chariot. Um, whomever, whatever you're attracting to you uh, is definitely going to be in harmony with you. And we see that with all of the, the triple Tri uh, the triple double numbers on each of these cards. So this could be an uh, energy of, you know, someone that is, um, you know, very much uh, going to feel like they are uh, a divine counterpart. When you think of the chariot, that definitely displays that there is someone balanced, someone in harmony, someone in control, someone who has willpower, someone determined, but also someone who's asserting themselves and going after what they want. That could also speak to powerful movements forward. You absolutely obtaining your goals and your dreams are coming true. 1717, another 88. So that's confirmation. This is you getting, you know, emotional fulfillment, satisfaction, because this also is a pink card. So I definitely get a sense of like, you have something that there are others around you, like, um, you know, kind of envying you for, uh, there's people who may, uh, be frustrated that you seem to be getting blissed. As I said, um, we have closer than just friends. So some of these people may be close in close vicinity. These could be friends. These could be family because it says closer than just friends. Uh, so, you know, people who are closer than friends are family. So this could be people that are around you that may be like kind of smiling and beguiling that may have some sort of disdain or some sort of jealousy, some sort of envy toward you because you seem to be getting um, plenty. You seem to be getting bliss. You seem to be, you know, very emotionally fulfilled, happy, satisfied, overjoyed. Uh, what you're attracting to you, we got the number nine completion. So whomever these people are, are people that you have um, established boundaries. You, you are not communicating with these folks you're not you know focusing on what they have going on you have established some sort of boundaries you're very guarded uh, I feel these are individuals that have disappointed you I'm also getting a sense of people who could have been very um, deceitful in the past and you know could have definitely as I said um, you know disappointed you now there's seems to be some sort of regrets perhaps or remorse because uh, I'm seeing like the nine of um, swords as well with some of these people could be waking up you know, in, in, in cold sweats, or maybe these individuals have uh, played enough games and you could have cut them off. I'm seeing the nine of uh, wands as well, because uh, I'm getting like, you know, someone who was definitely toyed with mentally, um, gaslit, stonewalled, ghosted, and then somebody pops up and act like everything is all good. Those are definitely signs of like narcissism or, you know, someone who's very selfish, self-absorbed, someone who doesn't know how to reciprocate. Um, and you just got tired of the constant back and forth with these individuals. And when you really, you know, kind of put your foot down, I feel like that's what is wrapping up a cycle. Something's come full circle because 
because you may see something for what it truly is. And someone may be trying to hold on to you because we have, um, who is this? I can't even see. It's so dark. Eddie Kendricks. You could be dealing with someone named Eddie or Kendricks, first, middle, or last. And it says, my people hold on. So someone is definitely holding on to you because maybe they feel you're their mill ticket. This seven and this nine breaks down to 16, which is nine. I mean, which is seven still. So I'm getting like the seven of swords type of energy. People who were deceitful, as I said, people who came in to be very sneaky. These are sneaky individuals, like kind of, as I said, you know, smiling and beguiling. When you think of the seven of swords, you know, it's an energy coming in, stealing five swords and sneaking away, you know, and then the two swords is stuck in the ground so you know that definitely insinuates this is someone that kept you in a perpetual state of confusion and intentionally so um they would come in swoop in you know under the guise of you know oh what's up just you know oh just acting like everything is cool in the gang but really they have some ulterior motives and it's seven on this clock um 5 11 so that's definitely confirming that this is a seven of swords type of energy uh whoever this is is smug they don't take responsibility or accountability for their action you may deal with someone who may do things to you and then when you confront them about it they ghost you they don't respond to it and then they pop up a week or two weeks later acting like everything is gucci never clearing up the wrong they did to you prior so this is about someone who's very intentional knows what they're doing um, and they like to keep you in a perpetual state of confusion because as long as they can keep you angry then they feel like they can control you and i feel like with this non-completion something is ending like you are now established some sort of boundaries and this person isn't able to um to antagonize you in the same way um, because I feel like you know you now are more emotionally intelligent uh, and you're not falling for the okie doke in the same way I feel like you're moving away from that energy leaving that energy behind because the seven the chariot is really about moving it's like you know courage and wise dome um, and uh, more importantly balance being in harmony being in that uh, equilibrium within thyself so how someone feels about you 56 I can't make this up relationship change you're leaving someone behind you're making the decision to, to fly you know fly on move on leave something let me make sure these aren't the same cards that came out in the former reading okay they're not <laughs> you know because some of these cards were in the form of reading and I just want to make sure that you know the cards that fell out but they're not they're not some of them are obviously but with this 56 that's how they feel like you're choosing yourself you're making a decision to choose yourself. They also see you as very balanced because the two is duality. So you are very balanced uh, in terms of your emotions, in terms of your logic. So in, in, in this situation, you're going to use head over heart. You're not going to allow them to, you know, have you all emotionally distraught, confused by something they're saying because they're obviously trying to confuse you with whatever words, you know, they're kind of using their words, uh, you know, because the tongue could be a sword. Um, it could be a weapon. Uh, so, you know, that's what people do when they're being manipulative. They will, you know, make their words sound all um, sweet and and in endearing but they really have ulterior motives uh so that's what that judas energy is that's what the devil does the devil is definitely very masterful in manipulating folks and that's just what i'm seeing and getting and gathering but i feel you have established boundaries because that nine is giving me the nine of wands and with this completion is definitely showing that you're done done fin with the nonsense how they feel about you is you've made a decision to choose yourself and also that they can't shake you anymore because remember i was picking up like like the two of swords energy with that seven of um, swords you see the two swords sticking in the ground that's the person who felt like you know they can constantly come in toy with your emotions have you in that m mental funk by mind fuck uh, ucking you pardon me you know what I'm saying keeping you in a perpetual state of confusion but now it's like with the relationship change that means you've made a choice and that is to part ways to leave you've you've literally pondered and, and meditated to get this straight and now you're choosing yourself um what i see hidden in the energy is the ego the pride so this is that energy that this person is like whatever decision you choose it's it's literally it's it's um killing someone's ego this is someone that was intentionally doing things because they were immature i feel like this is immaturity i feel like this is someone whose inner child um you know was kind of like running the show I feel like this is someone very stubborn. I feel like this is someone very hard-headed. And a hard head always makes for a soft ass. And so now they're learning the hard way because now you're parting ways. 
you learn the hard way because now you're parting ways and now that's what's going to force this person to grow up to mature to act their age i'm hearing act your age not your shoe size and what we have right now is um we have sherelle and uh who is this alexander o'neill and this is called everything i miss at home so for some of you all this could be like an ex a karmic ex the children's mother children's father a fiance a boyfriend someone you lived with someone you have children with as i said and now they're realizing everything they miss at home because why that ego death because you made a decision to leave you made a decision to choose yourself you made a decision to not play the game anymore and to be duped and to be played with and to be you know treated like you weren't worth um, and I feel like, you know, even though you had right reason to be upset or angry or frustrated, spirit is reminding you to forgive, smile and forgive them all. People know not what they do. Um, we are all here to learn, beloved. And I feel like you were the lesson. You were the one that taught them and they were the one that taught you. But you just used whatever you learned to self-improve, whereas they may have still been in an immature place projecting and, and, and faulting everyone but not taking accountability or ownership. And that's someone who just simply is uh, very immature. That's why I said they have some healing and growing to do and it's going to take perhaps this this circumstance that's going to wake them up perhaps um if this isn't someone that you dated or someone that you dealt with perhaps this is someone that is um you know that has something against you because it's like your light as i said earlier irritates this person's spirit their demons it's like you are someone who's doing the work so someone that's not doing the work it's like they're going to be frustrated at you say for instance at my job you know, um, I work with the homeless um, community. You know, I work in a shelter here in North Carolina. And uh, very interesting uh, to see how people uh, take offense when you absolutely are an empath and you care about people. And they don't. They're there for a check. You're there to do the work to make sure you're advocating on people's behalf. Make sure you're you're being that that beacon of light, giving people hope. You know, I chose to do this. I was working at one spot, making a whole lot of money, but I hated that. And I chose to take a pay cut to do something I absolutely love. And this is someone that has degrees. So this is a choice. A choice I made. Not a choice that someone said, hey, this is a choice I made. So I am at this space in time, you know, at this place, um, because I choose to be there. And it's interesting because the people that I work with, some of them, not all, um, they take offense because I am very, um, compassionate. I am very intentional. Uh, and I do things in a meticulous way because I don't want anybody to question, well, what did you mean by this? What happened during this time? So I'm very, you know, I'm, I'm very professional first and foremost. And so it's interesting because there are a couple of folks that are trying to clown the way that I work, but that is literally what that is, is them projecting, you know, their insecurities onto me because they know that I am actually doing my job and me doing my job shines a light on them, not doing theirs. And so they're trying to convince me through ma manipulation that me doing my job is foolish. Like they're trying to clown. They're all in this little group. And that's the reason why it's very important to know who you are and to stand firm in who you are because you won't care about groups and cliques and all of that. Shit. I, I will move. I, like if you ever saw a belly is like, I move dolo from state to state. That's my mentality. You know what I'm talking about? So I, I'm not afraid to, to fly alone. That's just, that's who I am. You know that y'all are Scorpios. So I said all of that to say, someone is trying to convince you the work that you done. You know what I'm saying? Is not, um, it's not good enough. Or, you know, they take offense to the fact that you, how dare you change? How dare you try to transform and be a better person? How dare you go back to school, get your education? How, it's just like, they liked you when you was down and out, when you didn't have nothing to offer, when you was able to be manipulated because it was to their, be, be, you know, to their benefit. But now that you've broken the yoke, now that you see clearly, now that you've moved away from that energy, this is causing disdain. This is causing a lot of frustration. So you have some of those folks that are sitting in your face still to this day because this energy is coming up for a reason that is very jealous and envious of you and that's why it's very important to scan the circle 
it's time to really do your due diligence because you don't want to have this type of energy around you because this it's dangerous to have people around you that are plotting on you scheming on you you know ear hustling hearing what your plans are that's why i don't tell anybody my plans i don't say it to anyone because they can you know literally um stunt it they can draw a wedge once they get wind of what you're planning what you're doing they could wish harm on you they could wish bad they could wish it to fail they could send evil eye energy they can ask somebody to block it it's just like so don't share anything that's just what i'm gathering so whomever whatever this energy is these are people who are very immature whenever i see pride and ego i just feel like that is a person that has not done their work because you wouldn't operate under that false you know uh facade or wear a mask um you know if you are uh strong and confident in who you are you know what i'm saying you'll know how to take a l and take one on the chin and and just show up and, and get, become better uh without taking offense you know we all you know everyone it has you know um you know, room to grow, you know what I'm talking about? And we're all, you know, a work in progress. So someone sharing with you their experience of you, uh, shouldn't make you become super defensive for no reason, or you shouldn't be like just come emotionally blocked off, unable to take other people's, um, you know, take other people's humble advice, especially if it has a lot to do with the relationship they are sharing with you. And they're like, look, I don't like when you do this. And then you just completely a stonewall in them and you, you just disregard them because you can't take the truth. You can't handle the truth. So it's like that energy is immature to me, you know? And so whomever you're dealing with, that's the type of energy you're dealing with. Immaturity. That's the only way to define it. You know, it's not even really a judgment. A lot of people are immature, whether emotionally, mentally, you know, they could be stunted. People are still out here needing to heal their inner child. So that's what I'm gathering from this energy. Energy. So we got 14. So there are moderation. So the changes you've made, the healing that you've done, it offends someone, you know, and perhaps this is what leads to someone having an ego death is because how much you've changed and whatever they were used to doing or getting away with, it no longer works on you because you're no longer falling into that trap of, you know, feeling like you have to, um, you have to meet someone else's standards. So what we have right now playing is change. <laughs> so as I'm speaking to moderation, if you see there, it says the group name is change. And then it says, um, what is it? The glow of love. So this is you. That's the, the glow of love is this green card. That's the heart chakra. So you've learned to love yourself. You know, that's what you have right now is a love of thyself. When you love yourself, that's inside work. You're not letting no one validate you. You're not allowing anyone to make you feel good. It's like you feel good because you feel good because you're doing the work on yourself. No one else has that ability to, 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 um, take you off or out of equilibrium anymore, perhaps in the way that they may have been able to do so in the past. So this is very beautiful. So we have new beginning that you're on the precipice of a new start. So that shows that you have taken initiative to, you know, move on, to move forward. I was picking up the fact that you made a decision to leave something behind and you sure did. And now you have this fresh start. So whatever new beginning is like, it's going to be exciting because you're following the beat of your drum. We have 55 adventure here. So you are definitely being more spontaneous, more risky, more daring. You're taking leap of faith to go after what you want. You're not allowing your fears to hinder you or to block you. And I feel like that's what's leading to your happiness. That's what's leading to your satisfaction. I feel like that also leads to some sort of wish fulfillment and blessings because it's like you're no longer operating in a place of fear and whomever you have like you know, whether pocket watching you at work or whoever you have in your surroundings, in your family, watching you grow and breaking generational curses and yokes, whoever's taking offense to your growth. Those are the individuals that are blinded by your light, as I said, because the glow of love is saying that you are definitely like, you know, radiating this, this, this positivity, this love, this light, this confidence, this wise dome. So that's beautiful. What we have here on the bottom of the deck is grounding earth. So definitely remember what I said in the beginning of the reading, be mindful to go outside and ground yourself. 
earth yourself. You know what I'm talking about? Like get out there, connect with Mother Gaia, Daughter Earth. Get out there and just charge, recharge your batteries. You know, if you could get to a body of water, even if you have a pool, you can sit by the pool, stick your feet in the pool, you know, like, but just connect. Take your crystals out and meditate. Sit in a very uh, powerful you know, use some of the mudras um, when you are meditating, when you're, you know, breathing in, inhaling and exhaling, definitely incorporate that as well. Just free your mind, clear your mind, um, but connect. More importantly, take some of your, you know, drums. Uh, if you have djembe drums, if you have chimes, if you have singing bowls, take those with you as well out in nature and connect, you know, uh, because I definitely feel like spirit is going to reju rejuvenate your spirit and give you a powerful download. I feel like you're going to receive a very powerful download, very powerful transmissions tomorrow that are coming straight from source and not from these manufactured companies. So what we have right here is we have the wand intention. So that's what spirit is telling you. You are the alchemist. You have alchemical force. You are the magi. Use your imagination even to manifest your desired outcome. Some of you are doing that. Some of you need to go out and give offerings. You know, when you start utilizing these magical uh, powers that you possess and you're starting to see things materialize and manifest and blessings, it's like you still have to go out and give an offering to, you know, source, to universe. Um, so place an apple in front of a tree, pour libation in your plants. Um, but give, give back to Mother Gaia, uh, feed the animals. If you have some fruit in the fridge that went bad a little bit, you know, give them to the, the animals. Don't just throw them away. Um, give them them berries, give them them grapes, you know, place an apple in front of a tree. Like I said, uh, feed nature, you know, go to Walmart and buy a bag of seeds and feed the, the birds in your community. Uh, just give back, you know, that's what I'm getting a sense of, but your intentions, whatever intentions that you have been setting they're definitely manifesting so i feel like that's what this abundance is saying someone really is jealous of the fact that you have um taken control you know of your power you could have been dealing with people who are very um materialistic as well people who could have been benefiting like i said from you just being kind you being self-sacrificing uh but i do feel like Spirit wants you to really hone in and focus on uh, mastering your craft. Don't focus on the distractions because where your attention goes, energy flows. So uh, ig the ignorance is what I'm hearing very loudly in my mind's, mind's eye, you know, and those who try to distract you are the culprits. So that's why I said limit the distractions, limit your interactions with people you know don't have anything to offer, whether in conversation or just in life. You know, these dead weights, got to leave them behind because things are done. That's what the completion card is telling you. It's time to let that go because this is what's, you know, who or what you're attracting. So let's tap in, beloveds. Let's see what we have coming and going out, going on. I'm using the Witch's Wisdom deck so that we could get some of that shadow energy, as I mentioned, that dark energy because we already got the light. I want to balance things out bottom of the deck we have alchem oh look at that that says um the alchemist so i was picking up the fact that you are manifesting something that you are master manifestors and there goes the alchemist card so this definitely says that you are someone who is a sorcerer someone who knows as above so below as within so without and this is what you have uh, this abundance for because whatever you've been manifesting whatever intentions you've been set setting we just saw that uh magical wand the intentions card it shows that it's materializing because this eight eight breaks down to 16 so this could be like a wish fulfillment and it's coming in quickly because that seven breaks down or, or deals with the chariot pardon me so this is something you've manifested this is another reason why you got a lot of haters is because perhaps they feel like you have um, some sort of power, you have some ability to, to just turn things around, or you may seem, um, as someone very wise, someone who's also in control. Uh, what I see here is intensification. And this is, uh, we're about to clarify the completion card. So this is saying something's definitely intensifying in terms of an ending. Like this is perhaps, um, you know, it's, it's just growing, um, in terms of, um, you know, the, the, the energy is growing. 
the distance even, you know, the perhaps the energy that like, look, I need to create distance because the train is going by again. You know, I need to create boundaries. It's intensifying in some of you. Maybe you haven't done this yet. And that feeling, that gumption is intensifying. Perhaps that's what is coming to some of you all through your meditation. It's just, it's growing. It's just growing larger. Like, okay, I have to separate myself from this situation. or I have to move away from this person. I have to create a sacred space or I have to create a safe space for myself. I have to have my own sanctuary even. But let's see. Why is this nine uh, completion here for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them? Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have security. So what did I say? Your security represents, you know, your defense. Um, this is how you safeguard your home. So spirit is telling you, keep your eyes on a swivel. The cats are always uh, impervious to threat. So they're very intuitive. So spirit is telling you to be very intuitive, to use discernment and to maintain your security, to keep that guard up, to continue to safeguard your home because there is someone that's going to try to come back. This is someone that's trying to bring stress, aggravation, agony, you know, someone who's very uh, negative, someone who's brought conflict in your life. This is that person that you've definitely blocked out, but they're going to come back. And it's like, you may know this, you may sense this. We have uh, clearance. So spirit is even confirming that it's time to clean house. It's time to get rid of this energy because it's done, done, fin. With clearance and completion, this is double confirmation that something's done. Someone is trying to come back to try to convince you that your love is king or maybe someone has learned, you know, after, you know, playing games or after, you know, just seeing that there's slim pickings. Even if this is a boss who took you for granted, uh, they may try to convince you to stay instead of pursuing something better for yourself because they know they have nothing to offer, whether it's a promotion you deserve, whether it's a pay raise you deserve. It's like they just want to keep you there because you make them look good. You know what I'm saying? But it's like spirit is saying it's time to clean house. It's time to clear out that negative, stagnant, funky ass energy so something new can come in. It's time to get rid of people that you know don't mean you any good, people that you know have only caused stress and aggravation. When you think of the nine of wands, there are nine, you know, eight wands that he is using as a defense. But these are reminders of the constant disappointment, the constant weight that was this person carried on their shoulder, how overwhelming those relationships were and underwhelming at the same damn time. 41, 41 was on the clock just now. That's five, five. That five, five breaks down to 10. That is the interchangeable number of 14. So there's definitely giving me a sense of something is dead. You know, something is dead, stinking and buried. 10 represents endings, deaths, definitely transformation. Something's transformed and spirit is saying it's time to clear house. It's time to clean your own homes as well. And there's also a time to like spiritually, you know, um, because, you know, with this broom, that's like a, a, um, a very magical instrument as well. And I feel like spirit is saying it's time to like do some cleansing in your home, perhaps wiping down things, um, sweeping your walls. You could use, uh, I know a lot of people use like rue herbs and they'll like dust their walls and cleanse their homes in that way. But I do just feel like there's a clearance. There's something being cleared out of your life uh, with relationship change security is on the bottom of the deck so someone definitely um, some of y'all need to change your locks uh, some of you all need to make sure when you go to rest at night if you have a home and it's on ground level that you make sure your windows are locked that you make sure every door is locked because you may have someone that may try to do some sort of um, you know like a thief you might have a thief you might have some a break in even maybe some of you all dealt with that maybe your ex is trying to come in and steal your stuff or line you up but spirit is saying like with this black cat here some of you may own cats but cats as i said they are impervious to threat which means that they're very intuitive they're intuitive creatures by nature and with this uh relationship change how someone feels about you they may feel like you have your guard up they may feel like you have you know some sort of 
boundaries established. Um, and you do. And this is some a decision that you've made. I feel spirit is also saying some of y'all need to do this. You need to protect yourself from someone. You need to protect yourself. Even if you have roommates, um, you know, it's time for you to really, uh, you know, put a camera up in your home, put a camera around your door, uh, throw some cameras up, you know, because if you have been, uh, having people vandalizing your property or people just taking advantage, doing little things, those things are being done intentionally. Um, and it's out of jealousy, you know, it's definitely out of jealousy, but I also feel like spirit is protecting you as well. Um, you know, I feel like your angels and your guides are also protecting you. Why is this relationship change here as well? Something's definitely changing. Look at that. This is what they're jealous of. This is the lady goddess, which is the epitome of, you know, all of the beautiful divine energy of Queens, queen of wands, queen of the sword, queen of pentacles, queen of cups. This is you embodying all of that energy. Even if you're a masculine, it's like, this is the emperor and the empress energy. So that's what they're really jealous of the pride and the ego. You know what I'm saying? They're very immature. Uh, cause this is what's going to be in the bottom of the deck when we pull a card for that. But what flew out is containment. I can't make this up. Someone's trying to keep you stuck. Remember we had boys to men saying, please don't go. And now we have this containment when someone's trying to contain you, they're trying to bind you, you know, cause that's what this is. You know, the cauldrons are used for, you know, uh, magical spells and, you know, doing witchcraft. And so someone could absolutely be doing some sort of voodoo, juju, hoodoo to keep you stuck with, please don't go with relationship change. Someone could be even be doing a, uh, um, like a domination spell even. Um, but there's definitely someone cooking up something, but I feel like you're also, um, on that frequency. So you need to protect yourself. You need to establish, you know, we saw that security. So spirit is telling you to tighten up your security, safeguard yourself, safeguard your finances, put a circle of protection around you. We have, um, Lonnie Liston, and this is called astral traveling. So some of you all may be astral travelers. I feel someone may also, uh, you know, be skilled enough to astral travel, uh, to spy. I'm getting remote viewing you. So some of you all, you may need to, uh, cover your mirrors. If you have mirrors in your room facing you while you rest, uh, if you have mirrors, definitely smudge them ever so often, definitely clean under your beds. Um, you know, you may need to do a spiritual bath. You may need to take a lemon and just cleanse yourself. Um, with that lemon, you could even place water with salt inside of it. Speak your intentions into it and place it under your bed for three days. Take that salt, pour it down the, the um, toilet and follow it with some salt. But you need to clear the energy because I do feel like someone is trying to manipulate it. Someone could be doing something to keep you in a state of confusion. Um, this is absolutely someone that's very vile, very nasty. And with astral traveling, they may also, because uh, remember we had that two, two, and I was saying not only are you uh, very skilled and have divine knowledge, but someone that's watching you, someone that's observing you, um, is also very skilled in the same way. And everyone doesn't use their powers for good. So this could be someone that's definitely honing in on your energy. So be mindful. And it's because of jealousy. The lady goddess is a very powerful energy, beautiful energy, attractive energy. This is someone that you would be jealous of. If you are minding someone else's business, as I said, you reached a level of self mastery. It doesn't get more masterful than the divine feminine or masculine. So this is someone that sees the growth, sees your maturity, see how much you've evolved and ascended. And this egotistical, stubborn, hard-headed ass is jelly of the fact that you're doing that. And this 10 breaks down to one and that's a magician. So that's one that someone's definitely using their, um, you know, their, their, uh, manipulative, they're manipulating your energy. They're using their powers for bad, trying to bring, um, confusion, trying to bring, um, chaos even in your life if you look at this cauldron i don't know what that is in there but it looks like it, it just looks like it doesn't look appealing so this is what they did just concocting all kind of ish and putting all kind of stuff be mindful of who you allow around you as i said this could be family so you may have family coming in hey can i use your bathroom looking in your comb taking your hairs and taking whatever little personal items you got to be very mindful of who you allow coming into your personal space your home is your sanctuary that's why security was there and it was a cat on the outside because that cat represents intuition you got to know who you are around you got to know who's observing you got to know what you're doing so this lady goddess 
definitely someone that would have a lot of jealous, envious eyes watching because you reached a level of self-mastery. You definitely persevered through some difficulties in your past and you gradually grew into that, that self, um, you know, that empress energy. That's not somebody who just wakes up and becomes an empress. You have to grow through some experiences and you evolve into that energy. So look at this guardian. You are protected. I love it. You are definitely protected, your angels, and this is another cat. This looks like my cat, Katara, because she literally has like a patch of white here right on her first eye. So this is beautiful. So your angels and your guides are protecting you, and they're also saying that you have some abundance coming in, prosperity coming in. So whatever these people are trying to block, whatever it is that they are minding, whatever business they are minding, all of your wishes and dreams will still be fulfilled, and you will still be happy. You will have that abundance, that carnucopia. You will have prosperity, emotional fulfillment fulfillment and it's because your guardians your angels the ascended masters are here protecting you so we got the what did i say high priest high priestess remember we had the two two twos deal with the high priest the high priestess i can't make this ish up i, I told you and i said you got a responsibility to protect yourself first and foremost because you got another person who is trying very hard and this is someone who's operating in a very low vibration a very low vibration ego pride is a low vibration Ego pride is immaturity. So your duty to yourself, to your family, is to be responsible for your peace, is to tap into your intuition, trust your inner wisdom, your inner gumption, to not go against that and say, oh, well, that's family, and not be suspecting. You know, it's always the ones closest to you that stick that, that dagger in your back. So it's your responsibility as well to establish boundaries, to make sure to protect yourself, to check deeper, to go deeper, to dive within, to see what could possibly be hidden. It's your responsibility. This is powerful. With this guardian, you are protected. And this was definitely the, the moderations and changes. You know, you were being guided almost. There were little nuggets, you know, being left for you to pick up almost so that you could make the changes. Why is this 14 moderation here for who or what our beloved Scorpios? have hidden in the dark we got autumn see the watchtower definitely someone watching you and we are in the season of autumn so you definitely got people watching you currently watching your every move some of you all are living on the west coast remember i was picking up on the west coast if you're not you're going to be relocating there maybe you are you know checking to see what's happening so what we have is respect see that so you've garnered a lot of respect through the moderations and the changes that you've made and look at this this is why someone is jelly this is the person that's cloaked this is concealed this is a secret hater right here this is someone that could be secretly doing voodoo juju hoodoo this is someone that is jealous of the fact that you have respect that you have risen to that space of being a uh, you know self, reaching that space of self mastery having a deeper more profound understanding of you being a divine feminine being a divine masculine having your own business building yourself up they're jealous of that and this is someone you see how the back is turned they don't have no respect for you because whenever you turn your back to someone that's a lack of respect that's different that's terrible body language so this is someone that's trying to also to, trying to hide their motives as well and the fact that they're in this this hood that shows that they're in the practice. That's why that 22 showed up and that's why high priest, high priestess is here because they're saying not only are you a master manifester and someone that can you know, definitely set your intentions, but whoever you have mind in your business is also in the practice and they're doing things. They're doing things, but you are respected because you use your powers for good. They are on teetering, you know, where they are uh, going outside of the, the boundaries of, of the read, the wicked read. Look, at, there goes the divine masculine. These are people at your job. This could be people at your job. This could be a boss. I picked up on a boss that was jealous of you because, you know, you work hard. You're there for the right reason. And the individuals, you know, that they have working for them that are there for the right reasons make them look good but they still don't want to pay you your work they still want to keep their their foot on your neck so you can't grow because they fear you taking their job so whomever this is is like somebody trying to keep you stuck and stagnant you know i was dealing i was speaking to having uh co-workers that are you know i don't have no problems with my my bosses because they see my worth they appreciate me i'm not there for anyone other than the people i serve but the you know some of you all may have an actual boss so we saw the divine feminine now we see the divine masculine this also could speak to you being in harmony this is another reason why someone respects you you know but you have a secret hater you see that that cloak that concealment they're concealing their intentions and they're jealous because you changed 
I told you because you transformed and you made these necessary changes and they sit around watching your ass day and night could be on your social media, spying, just watching everything you do, watching everything. And that's why I said you can't share everything. That's why I stopped. I did not like Facebook because it, it, it almost like you can't help yourself with Facebook to tell all your business. So that's why I was like, nah, I see where this is going. I'm not going to say there was a time where you had like police officers, FBI, people like that. They had to do research, investigate you know, send out spies and, 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 you know, um, people, you know, little plants to get information. Now people just freely give it all up <laughs> on Facebook or on Instagram or see so these social media platforms. So I, that's, a, I, it's like, I see it as a trap. And so someone, some of y'all are still on there running your mouth and telling all your business. Oh, I'm about to start this job. Oh, I'm about to move to this location. Oh, I'm about to do this. Oh, I'm on vacation going here. Oh, I just bought this from here. And, and that's too much. That's TMI. Because someone is secretly doing this, a word, <laughs> and they sitting here concocting some shit, you know, so you got to be mindful. Remember that we got this, trying to block, trying to stunt, trying to bind, trying to, you know, um, dominate your energy. That's what this containment is. Like I said, the cauldrons are all about cooking up some ish. So we got this watchtower. Someone's watching you and we got this new beginning and adventure. So they watching you have this new beginning, this new venture, adventure. And it's pissing them off. This is one, one. It's two again. High priest, high priestess. It's talking about, you see what I'm saying? So you are manifesting a new beginning. And someone is like, oh, word. So be mindful. Why is this one and this 55 here for our beloved Scorpios and the outcome? See that? What did I say about boundaries? You cutting all of that ish off because you got that epiphany, that aha. You got the download. You know what I'm talking about? Like you're cutting them free. You're cutting yourself free. And you're saying, I'm done. I'm not dealing with you. I'm cutting you off from my cipher. And we have this awakening. So this is what you have. This is the outcome. You are awakened to the truth, beloved. That's what the sword is. The sword of truth gives you clarity, gives you illumination. And once you see things that are hidden in plain sight that you previously didn't see, you can take the sword and cut yourself free. From the hexes, the yokes, you could cut yourself free from the, anything that may be trying to bind you. Look at that. Wick and read. I spoke to someone using their powers for good. This person uses their powers for good. That's why we got this containment card. And the wick and read is all about the bylaws. When you are tapping into magic and you're doing magic, spirit is saying you got to maintain these. the read. The read are the bylaws. When you go against that, beloved, you have some consequences and repercussions that you're going to deal with. But this is what spirit is telling someone. This is what's on the bottom of this deck. I can't make this up. The boundaries is on the bottom of the deck. On the bottom of the deck. And that's what you're going to establish. Because you have awakened, beloved. You've awakened to the truth. You have spiritual awakening. And that's what's leading to this new beginning. That's what's leading to this adventure, to this excitement. And you're leaving all of the nonsense behind because you're cutting yourself free. So whoever this is that's hating on your ass, you're going to cut them free. I feel like spirit is definitely protecting and guarding you because we did see that. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you did appreciate the video, if it resonated with you, definitely give it a like, a share, subscribe if you feel so inclined. I appreciate you all for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, send a big fat ashe, yo. Peace.